Welcome to today's uh, spotlight video. Today we're looking at Stalwart. Um, this is a uh, really interesting project I ran across a week or two ago. And um, so I was, you know, whenever I run across stuff like this, I want to say, uh, can we run it under nanos as a unikernel? And uh, yes, we can. Um, and so, so what is it? Well, it's a series it's a, it's a mel server at the end of the day, but mel server is kind of a loaded phrase. Why? Because there's so many different components that go into email. Um, if you've never actually played with like stuff like Postfix or you know Sendmel or all these different programs, in the past email has been composed of many many different programs, many different daemons that have to work together. Um, and this one is interesting because it stuffs everything inside of one binary. Um, it's written in Rust, and it literally has support for like anything you can think of email-wise. Um, and it's it's just kind of amazing that they put all of this <laughs> into this this one server, and so you can you can spin this up as Unikernel, and it just it's awesome actually. Um, so all those people saying, oh, you shouldn't roll your own email, well, screw them, uh, use this, and, and you can. <laughs> so uh, yeah, let's just go over some of the features. You know, you have IMAP and POP and SIEVE and SMTP. Um, you have all the security stuff, which is pretty important nowadays, and you know, the whole you shouldn't run your own email server type of stuff. Um, that's generally because a lot of people don't know that they need to throw in like DMARC and SPF and all this other stuff. Um, so if you want to run it, I cut a copy here at uh, Iberg Stylework 0107. Um, and uh, I used a very default config, um, a default, you know, everything. Uh, if, if, if you see the ports that get popped open, um, obviously if you're running this, on a bridged IP, you don't need to add all this stuff because it's just on by default. But this kind of just shows you, I mean, like, look at these, you got two for web, one TLS, one not, then you got your SMTP and your pop and your IMAP and, you know, all this good stuff. Um, today we're, we're just going to, uh, we're just going to open up a uh, 25 and 80, 80, just so I can kind of show some stuff. Um, so the default pass, you can change this, you should change this, but I always, I always stick something in so people can kind of play with it. Um, and, uh, so when you're first greeted, you, you basically want to add a domain. I've added a couple just kind of playing with this nano VMs and Bob and stuff. If you pop in here, you can see, um, you know, it grabs all the DNS, it grabs, uh, zone information. Um, you can, uh, you can, it's got these great little tools to test delivery and test DMARC and so forth. So you can add another domain, um, you know, random.org, blah, 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 save. Um, so it adds it right. Uh, after you add a domain, um, you're going to want to add a user, uh, and so you can see I added myself here, but you can do like uh, Bob at NanoVMs, Bob and Bob at NanoVMs. Actually, let's just do, uh, let's do, we already did Bob, so let's do Tom. Something like this. You can set your auth, give them Tom. Um, membership, you can add lists. As you can see, it's very, very extensive. Um, this is just like user options, right? Having worked at an ISP a very, very long time ago, um, this is a, this is really nice. Um, and so uh, you can see I already shot like a test email here. Um, it's got API, it's got roles. You can look at the queues, the message queues, um, the history reporting. Some of these features uh, they have, like some of their dashboards and so forth, are um, rolled up in this enterprise offering. Um, so if you're actually serious and you actually need uh, 
something like this, that would be a good option. Um, Anti-spam, you, you can like upload your own model to train on the spam, so that's kind of cool. Uh, and so then the settings, and the settings are wild. Um, again, if you've never really played with email before, it gets, it's, it's incredibly more complex than you think it is. Um, so there's all the, all the normal stuff, right? These are all the different listeners, all those ports that I showed you. So you don't have to run all of this, obviously. Um, you can run none of it. <laughs> but um, but this is what's kind of available out of the box. Um, gives you options for auth. Uh, if we look at SMTP, this is how crazy configurable it can get. You you know for like so if you want to send a mail through SMTP, um, there's all these different options. And in fact, what I did was um, before I started recording this video, just because I was trying things out. Uh, I went through and um, I, I basically went through and killed a lot of these requirements, um, saying things to false or uh, setting setting like disable on on some of them. So like so like I did disable on DKIM and did disable on ARC, disable on SPF. Obviously, if you're running this stuff for like a prod setup, you don't want that. And so they have, they have very same defaults that um, you would want to use. But anyway, let's, let's go ahead and um, try this out real quick. Uh, so I think this is our IP, right? Yeah, so we're gonna tell them that in, say hello, and uh, do nanovms.com. And then what we wanna do is, uh, do a mail from Ian. Please don't send me spam. <laughs> mail from. Then we're gonna do a receipt to uh, nanovms.com. Then we do our data. Hey Ian, what is going on lately? Uh, something like this, right? And then we go ahead and end it. Um and uh. So yeah, it'll it'll either complain or it'll accept it or you know whatever it does. Um, but yeah, this is this is a really cool cool service I think to to run as a unikernel, um, just because it sticks all the stuff into this Rust uh, web server and it's feature rich and it works perfectly fine with. Uh, you know, deployed as a nano-seeing kernel. So, till next time.